Hi again. In universe, the official MLP podcast for G5 is run by the character Pip Petals, titled the Pipcast, and predominantly consisting of interviews with other show characters. While mostly sticking to what is already established within animated media, the series does occasionally offer unexpected insights into the world of G5. This brings us to episode five, the Halloween special. While celebrating Nightmare Night, the hosts of Pipcast experienced numerous ghostly fakeouts during their recording session. In the most recent, Izzy Moonbow is the first to conclude a ghost might be present, stating, "Let me handle this. We have all kinds of ghosts in Bridalwood." <laughs> Superstitious as Bridalwood is, that's not entirely surprising. However, after asking the ghost not to eat anyone's brains and quickly finding out their haunting guest is not actually a ghost. Easy states the following. Whew, what a relief! I tell you, I was not looking forward to dealing with ghosts today. Last time I got lost in an energy puzzle for a whole day. Talk about a Easy mind warp. Not helping. Well, <laughs> this show. Okay, so let's break this one down. First of all, the implication made here is that Izzy has actually seen ghosts at some point in the past. Interestingly enough, this may not be the only example. The Make Your Mark episode Ali Cond includes a joke where Izzy looks up towards the ceiling, declaring she carries the limitless knowledge of her unicorn ancestors, then says this. Shh, anti buttons, not now. Again, looking towards the ceiling, talking to some pony who no one else can see. We see something similar in the episode Winter Wish Day, when Izzy again stares towards the ceiling mid-conversation, though with no real explanation given for what she's looking at. Indeed, she could genuinely just be zoning out here. Either way, a big thank you to VC Sajin from the United Equestrians Discord for pointing the scenes out. Taking all that into account, it seems to be implied that Izzy can see, or at least believes she can see, ghosts and other such phenomena that others cannot. In fact, that might explain what Izzy means when she describes seeing a pony sparkle. She could be referencing the soul or something similar. However, taking all that into account, let's return to the second half of that quote from before. Izzy claims that during a previous encounter with ghosts, she ended up trapped for an entire day in an energy puzzle, which she describes as something of a mind warp. Yeah, I've asked around in multiple servers if energy puzzle is referencing something specific. No one has a clear idea as to what. Just some guesswork. It's been suggested the energy puzzle could be referencing Discord's maze from Return of Harmony, or a literal puzzle made of something like ectoplasm or psychic energy. Other suggestions include a cursed artifact similar to the puzzle box from Hellraiser, a reference to some mobile game, or a scrapped idea from the show. A perhaps more likely explanation offered by the aforementioned VC Sajin refers to the book accompanying the official virtual reality game Virtual Magic, transcribed by Freo slash Malaki and shared in the Yay Ponies Discord server, recounting the events of the film from Izzy's perspective. The book extensively highlights Izzy's vivid imagination, perhaps offering an alternative explanation for all of the aforementioned mysteries. In the end, we don't really have a single solid explanation, mostly because Pip interrupted Izzy partway through her retelling. Thus, we'll probably never know what she meant by any of this. That being said, if there is more information out there, we'd be happy to hear it. What actually happened to Izzy that day, and how did she eventually manage to escape? Let me know what you'll think, and happy housewarming.